Greetings Earthlings, today we're doing a quick comparison video of the Seiko 7S26 and the Seiko 4R36 movements. The 7S26 was originally launched in 1996 and then in 2011 Seiko released an updated module or an updated movement which is the 4R36. As far as the specs, both movements are automatic. Both beat at 21,600 vibrations per hour. Both have an approximately 41 hour power reserve. Both have three hands for telling the time. Both have a day and a date complication. And then they finally start to differ. The 7S26 has 21 joules in the movement, while the 4R36 has 24 joules in the movement. I wasn't able to find quoted accuracy for the 4R36, but the 7S26 is quoted with an accuracy of plus 45 to minus 35 seconds a day. So... So if you're looking for accuracy, this ain't it. And then we get to the big differences between the two movements. The 7S26 does not hack, meaning when you pull the crown out to the second position, the seconds hand does not stop, and it also does not have hand winding. So if the power reserve has run out on this watch, you can't get it running by winding the crown. You need to do what is called the Seiko Shuffle, which is just moving the watch around to get the rotor running. The 4R36 on the other hand does have hacking so you can set the time much more accurately and it also has hand winding so you don't have to do the Seiko shuffle to get it running. Then as far as the functionality of these movements, it is pretty straightforward. When you pull the crown out to the first position, rotating the crown clockwise will progress the day of the week forward and rotating it counterclockwise will progress the date forward. And pulling the crown out to the second position allows you to set the actual time on the watch. On the 7S26, the seconds hand will continue just ticking away. You cannot actually stop the seconds. While the 4R36, as I mentioned, does hack so the seconds hand stops and you can set the time much more accurately. That is it for this video, just a quick rundown and explanation of the differences between these two movements. If you enjoyed it, thumbs up, hated it, thumbs down. Thanks for watching, talk to you later, bye bye. Whoa, whoa.